Welcome, thank you so much for being here. My name is Queen and I am with you right now to talk to you about my favourite topic which is success. Now I haven't given you a success video for quite a while so I thought I would definitely do one now because it's August and it's time for us to start thinking about how we can become more successful. So basically I'm going to be giving you five ways that you can actually get a breakthrough because I do believe that a big breakthrough is just around the corner for you. I believe that you are here right now because you're destined to do great things but you also want to overcome some blocks that would lead to bigger, bigger, bigger and more, more fabulous ways of living life. You want to live life bigger and you want to live life better and you want to shine and you want to maybe travel and do all these great things that you have on your list and you want to know how you can do it. And I want you to basically go to my website which is my new website www.queenchomaofficial.com and I really want you to sign up to my festive success newsletter to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing and also to find out about upcoming events along with finding out about how you can move to new levels of success uh, through videos like this or through bonus things that I will not be sharing anywhere else. Number one, the first thing that you want to do if you want a breakthrough is to make room for success. One of the ways that you can do this is by decluttering basically. It's just that simple, declutter. So what I tend to do from time to time is I'll give lots of my clothes away to charity, old things that I'm not wearing anymore, I'll bag them up and I'll send them to charity. So I wanna challenge you to do the same today. I want you to do this today. And even if you don't send it out today, send it out within the next few days. You wanna make space for success. If you wanna break through, you're gonna to have to break out of where you are to get the breakthrough that you're looking for. So, Get that bag together, put some old things in it, maybe some old shoes you haven't worn for ages, some old trainers that you've just literally been there for years, that you've had for 10 years. Because sometimes we are holding on to things that we just need to let go of. Number two, the second way you can get a breakthrough is for you to do what you need to do. So basically do the work or implement what it is that you need to implement. So maybe, for example, you're on the path to uh, organizing your own event and you've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, but you're not implementing, you're not taking any action. Take action on those goals, dreams, and aspirations because if you want to break through, if you want to have the, live the life that you want to live, you're going to have to do something different, which means stepping out of that comfort zone. And stepping out of your comfort zone is not just about your normal routine of success. It's about what do I do that's different to attract a new level of success? Because the saying is really true that to expect a different result but doing the same thing is insanity. You know, they say that's the definition of insanity, to so do the same thing and expect a different result. So if you go home the same way every day, go out the same way every day, make the same phone calls every day, if you watch the same TV program every day, you're just going to get the same results. If you want your life to change, you're going to have to do the work that needs to be done and implement those ideas that have been coming to you because they are gonna to lead to breakthroughs. The third thing that I want you to do is to wait with expectation, being hopeful, expecting the good thing to happen, expecting the breakthrough to come, expecting God to move. You know, the Bible says that God is looking and longing for someone to show himself strong on the behalf of. You know, and, and basically that person that he's looking for is someone that's expecting him hoping for him and longing for him. So if you're doing that, you're gonna attract breakthroughs more. But if you're just hoping with a bad attitude, moody, mopey, this is never gonna happen, I hate my life, blah, 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 that's not gonna attract the success that you're looking for. It's not gonna attract the breakthrough. It's not gonna attract the wonderful, fabulous thing to happen to you. So make sure you do wait with the right attitude. It's very, very fundamental and it's key. Number four is basically to continue to develop yourself during this time. If you are waiting for a breakthrough, self-development is fundamental. Keep reading those books. If, For example, if you're trying to become more wealthy or you're trying to attract a financial breakthrough, you need to keep reading books on wealth because maybe God wants you to learn how to manage money before he sends you more money. And if, for example, you're looking for somebody to, you want to be in love and you want to get married, then read books on marriage or, or even if it's just watching videos or listening to podcast shows or whether it be that you read articles. Because for you to be prepared for your breakthrough, you need to be thinking about it. And the way you think about it is you learn about that area. And finally, the fifth way that you can attract the breakthrough that you're waiting for is for you to make sure that you keep a watch over your mouth by 
refusing to speak bad things, even if it doesn't look like these good things are going to happen, just keep your mouth full of positivity and keep confessing day and night everything that you want to achieve. So let's say you're right now trying to attract a new car into your life. You need to be confessing, I attract that new car into my life right now. I see myself driving the car today. I am driving a Mercedes, a red Mercedes, and that car's mine, and I love my new Mercedes. And you need to just talk about this thing as if it's actually happening. You want to basically take time out from time to time in your day, go to the bathroom and make your positive confessions in the mirror. You can go to your local stationery shop, buy some cards like this, you know, I've got some colourful ones here, and just write down the things that you want to achieve. You take that card, in the morning you say those things out loud, before you go to bed you say the things out loud, and whenever you feel really discouraged and down, just quickly go to the toilet, let's say you're at work and you can't really say it at work, you go to the toilet, you grab your card and just say it out, put it back into your bag and get on with your day. You may not be able to say it very loud because you may not want everyone to hear, but life and death is in the power of the tongue that's what the bible says so you need to be confessing day and night because you can't expect god to do all these amazing things for you if nothing is coming out of your mouth because we get what we say so when you say something you actually attract it all the more